I'm Will Sampson from FDMC Magazine and the Woodworking Network. We're in the shop today to talk about a couple of new air sanders. And let's talk about pneumatic sanding in general. A lot of shops rely on electric portable power tool sanders. Those are great, but you really ought to consider going to a pneumatic sander for a production shop. They're smaller, lighter, more ergonomic, and they tend to be more reliable um, if you don't count the sound of the compressor, which is likely in a, another room, they can be quieter. Um, but it's definitely worth checking out. These two sanders are from DynaBraid, and uh, they're part of the new DynaBraid Dynorbital Extreme series. And there's a bunch of different sanders in the series. We're going to talk about these two, which represent a range of the features that are available. For example, this is the model X51V, and uh, I'll zoom in here so that you can see it a little bit better. Okay, this sander is a, uh, has a good general purpose 3 16th random orbit, uh, not as fine as some other sanders has 12,000 RPM, and uh, uh, it has vacuum attachment. And it's a really nice vacuum attachment. This part screws into here, and then this is a hose adapter that'll adapt to just about any hose that you've got. One of the really cool things on this is the vacuum works with these DynaBraid pads. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more even on this. And you can see it has this kind of a swirl pattern on it. The idea here is that it pushes the, uh, the sanding dust toward the center for maximum evacuation of the sanding. Now the other sander that we have here is the X52. This is, you can see these are very similar, they have similar ergonomics, they both have this great little paddle feature that the, the trigger paddle sinks all the way into the unit so that, that it's, you don't even feel it when you're using it. You, you still have really good control. Now this one is, does not have a vacuum. It also is a finer orbit, it's a 330 seconds orbit, so that's really a, a, a fine for fine sanding and it does not have the vacuum on it so this is fairly basic but this would be a great sander for detail work and fine sanding the other thing that uh, we're going to plug these in and give them a try um, this is the uh, special DynaBraid hookup that's really nice with a push button feature here and uh, hooks on really well. I'll give it a try. Oh, one, one word about technique as I'm hooking up the uh, vacuum to these, to this one. To random orbit sanders, the whole point of a random orbit sander is to not have swirls on the surface. But if you use the wrong technique, you'll still get some swirls. And the best way I always remember with the technique is on is on and off is off. In other words, you start the unit with it on the surface and you stop the unit, you turn it off, with it off the surface. So let's try it out here. Let me put on my ear protection and turn on our vacuum. You can see there's almost no dust on the surface here. It's working really good. This is really nice and comfortable to use. Practically floats on the surface. And uh, even with the hoses on here, it's easy to maneuver and control. So on is on, off is off. Okay. 
Now I'm going to turn the vacuum off. And disconnect the hose and try the fine sander. Now see this creates some dust. You're probably seeing some dust here. But you have really good control and it works great on, you know, this is we this is this project is a, a uh, vanity that we're repurposing as a uh, uh, it's a buffet that we're repurposing as a vanity for a bathroom and we found out that underneath this terrible faux grain paint there was walnut veneer so this works great for sanding the delicate veneer So anyhow, it's a couple of great sanders, really nice, lightweight, use, ergonomic, worth checking out. It's from DynaBraid. Another thing about them is they're made in the USA. Uh, so if uh, it's important to you to support our North American manufacturers, there's a company that you can check out. DynaBraid Dynorbital Extreme Series. That's what we've got for today. Um, we, if you want to see more tool reviews and the latest in woodworking industry news, go to our website, woodworkingnetwork.com, or look in the pages of our magazine, FDMC. Thanks for watching.